Well, what's going on guys? This is Gene Jensen and I want to show you what I think is the most important rig for bank fishing. So the reason I say that this rig is the most important rig for bank fishing is because it helps me to find where the fish are holding, it helps me to catch them, and it helps me to figure out more of what's on the bottom and what kind of, you know, where the bass are gonna be located. And that's kind of what I wanna talk about today. And this rig that I'm talking about is the Carolina rig. Now, don't click off of this quite yet. This isn't about trying to, or catching fish or how to fish a Carolina rig. I'll leave that video right up here. This is how to use a Carolina rig while bank fishing to find the drops and the cover and the holes and things like that in the bottom that you can't see using a Carolina rig. All right, give me a second to talk about the rig itself. I like a half ounce or heavier sinker. You can be an egg sinker, it can be a bell sinker, it can be anything. This is an old tungsten sinker that they don't make anymore. Um, a couple of beads and either a swivel with a leader tied onto it or two Carolina keepers. Okay, and these you pinch down with some pliers and you can adjust the leader and everything else. And then a little offset round bend hook and your, your worm. And I love trick worms, especially in ponds and stuff like that. It doesn't, it seems to get more bites from smaller fish and you can really figure them out fast. All right, so let me talk about a few things. Uh, we're going to start with the basics of this this technique or this way of fishing and the way of feeling the bottom. And that's what I use a Carolina rig for a lot while I'm bank fishing is I want to know where the drops are. I want to know where the hard bottom is. And there's nothing in my mind that's better than this. Yes, you can use a jig. Yes, you, you can use a Texas rig. I think a jig falls too slow for this. I think a Texas rig, because that weight is right up against the bait, that it doesn't allow you to feel quite like you need to feel to feel whether the bait's falling or dropping and plus the less you move your or if you move your rod just a little bit it can bring a texas rig off the bottom as for a carolina rig it's a lot easier to keep the bait on the bottom or the the rig on the bottom okay so let me talk you through this real quick first of all what you want to do is don't think of this as depth think of it as seconds to fall so I'm, i cast out and i let it hit the bottom and i count one two three and i just hit the bottom so i know that's fairly shallow and as i'm dragging it i'm dragging it super super slow and i'm feeling for stuff right now i feel a little bit of grass and the reason i know it's grass is because it feels like i've got a hold of a sock and i'm pulling a sock or a towel really really slow and every once in a while poop, poop, it releases now i'm going to reel that in here in just a second let me drag it a little bit more it just released from the grass and i'm feeling okay so i know there's grass on the bottom of this lake so I'm going to reel it in and I'm going to walk a little bit further to the steeper part of the bank and I'm going to make another cast. Let's go do that. Okay, so the reason I said just a second ago going to the steeper part of the bank, this, this lake's a little bit different. It is a man-made lake and basically three quarters of the pond is a dam with a little bit of bank right here. And so I went to where the, the, the dam itself on the backside is the steepest. No, and that tells me that this is probably the deeper part of the lake. It's not the deepest. I know the deepest is right out there because that's the, the furthest down on the back side of that dam. But on most lakes, you want to go to that steeper bank. Now, again, I'm going to make a cast out, and I'm going to count seconds. One, two, three, four. It went down four seconds, so it's deeper than that other one. All right, so let me tell you about the kind of places that bass like to hang out. One of their favorite places to hang out is on a drop. So you got shallow water and all of a sudden it gets steep and drops down and it may only drop a foot, two foot, three foot, but it's still gonna be a drop. And the reason is, is because silt cannot settle right there on that edge due to current and, and, uh, and wind and stuff like that, the silt and gravity. Silt will go, I thought I had a rod on, a fish on the end of my rod, I don't. 
silt will fall down and that, the top edge of that drop will be hard and will be you know be a hard bottom and that's the kind of things that the fish like to hang out on now so I'm feeling for that kind of stuff now let me try to explain what that stuff feels like say you're dragging it you make a cast all the way out and I picture this as being in a cove and I make a cast across the cove and I'm dragging it downhill very slowly or I'm dragging it out and the and the the weight itself of the Carolina rig stays on the bottom stays on the bottom and you just you know you're dragging it a foot or two I'm stuck in the grass again <laughs> but you drag it a foot or two and you let release and you watch your line for to see if your line is if your bait is falling or if it's not falling and if you drag it and all of a sudden it starts to fall a little bit further than it should have you just hit a drop if you feel that hard bottom with that sinker you hit a drop and you what you, what I do is I'll I'll remember that and I'll make a cast all along that drop so I'm all hung up in this grass I'm all reel it in but that's what you're feeling for you're feeling for a drop or you're feeling for hard bottom and that sinker being always on the bottom is really critical another thing is is you leave your leader about 12 inches a nice little short 10 or 12 inch leader there's that grass that's on the on the bottom in about seven feet of water or four seconds but I'm gonna make another cast out here and say I'm dragging it on the bottom let me get it see okay that fell through that fell about four and a half five seconds so it's a little deeper and there's no grass so I'm like huh hmm. so I'm gonna drag until I feel grass and see if there is some since I know there's grass but I would drag and see if I feel rock or feel a log or something like that maybe feel a stick and a lot of and what this what a bait feels like when it comes over a tree or in a brush pile is you'll feel it come up and you'll hit something release the slack and what if it falls back down it means it's falling on the other side of that limb you got a brush pile or you got a big rock or something and you're letting it fall back on the other side you bring it up to the limb pop it up let it fall back down but the the carolina rig is probably to me the best rig for feeling what's out there it is your depth finder it is your fish finder and the bonus is it catches fish now when you do get a bite one thing i'm going to tell you is set the hook low and to the side and you'll catch the fish let's talk about talk about this just a little bit more so the key is being able to pay attention to your line you want to feel whether that bait is falling or if it's coming up if you do something like you know, i'm dragging it and i don't want to know if i'm dragging it uphill and i just keep dragging it. i'm like man that that sinker should come off the bottom it should come off a little bit because i'm dragging it flat or it should you know it, it shouldn't have as much resistance but all of a sudden you're dragging it uphill and you get a little bit more resistance and you know you're coming up something and then all of a sudden you'll get to where it stops and you'll feel a resistance let some slack out see if it falls back down and you may be on this side of a drop you know on the deep side coming up to the shallow part of the drop but bass use those drops as cruise you know places to cruise bait fish use them as places to cruise up and down the bank or up and down that drop and bass will hang on a stump or something along that drop and ambush the bait fish as they come by so that's a, I mean that's critical but I tell you this rig has helped me to figure out so many lakes in my lifetime that it's not even funny it's helped me to find those little places in a big pond that will always hold bass and i just love it but like i said the key is counting your time counting your fall and then paying attention to what your bait's doing on the bottom is it, it can you feel something rough can you feel a stick can you feel grass can you feel uh, you know feel uh, some type of tension on the line is, is it coming uphill what's your line doing is your line you know is your line going out or is it coming in pay attention to your bait pay attention to your line and you can easily with a carolina rig figure out what the bottom composition is what the bottom is doing and what cover you have down in there and i promise you the more you know about the lake you fish the more bass you're going to catch but like i always say be sure to introduce somebody to fishing introduce them to my channel let me help you teach them how to fish more importantly get out on the water go ahead and catch some fish and have a great day we'll see you